How to start dropshipping on Facebook Marketplace in 2022. Even if you're not technology savvy or have never dropshipped an item before in your life. Warning, this is gonna be a different type of video. I've never put up a video like this on my YouTube channel before. This is gonna be a complete training, A to Z, start to finish, nothing is left to chance, there's not gonna be any hype, there's not gonna be any fluff, just actionable steps along with some guides and bonuses that you can take and use now to either start getting your very first sale drop shipping on Facebook Marketplace or take in an existing business and increase the sales and increase the profits. I'm gonna teach you this by showing you the exact five step process that I use to make 500 to $1,000 a day drop shipping on Facebook Marketplace. Just as a quick 15 second intro about me, here you can see some of my deposits. You can see they are bringing in, this is $841, $913. These are single day deposits. Uh, here's some of my orders. So you can see that I am bringing in 500 to $1,000 a day in sales. Um, and I do teach this to other people. Um, and you see they get results as well. Again, this is just a quick, I just showed this with you guys that Danny made $237 in profit for the day. Antonio got his first sale. He just listed this item 10 minutes ago, made $22 in profit. I'm not going to read all these. I just, I just put these because I want you to see that what you are going to learn today from me works. It's currently working for me and I've taught it to other people that have all used it to have success, make money, get their first sale quickly and grow their businesses and make consistent sales. Uh, you know, there's some people that teach this stuff that, you know, they've been doing it for three months. They don't even really have to figure it out. They start making YouTube videos. I have a consistent proven track work record to get consistent sales with this. And I've taught this to a lot of other people that have used this to make great, solid, sustainable money as well. Understand what you'll learn in this video as long as you watch it to the end is bulletproof. It will work for anyone. And my goal is for you to steal it and apply it today to either get your very first sale or grow your existing business. Here's what you will learn in this video. One, the simple proven to work five step copy and paste process you can use to, to start and grow your very own Facebook marketplace dropshipping business. How to start getting sales within as little as two to five days from today. How to list hot selling popular products others have already listed and you can list them for higher dollar amounts yet get people to buy from you instead. How to find an unlimited number of popular products that are selling so you can list them on your marketplace account. A simple yet advanced strategy to find great items to list in your store for the next three months. As a bonus, I'm gonna give you a downloadable list of 17 items you can list in your store right now. These are proven, these are vetted items, these are popular items, and I'm gonna share this with you later in this presentation. You're also gonna learn what changes are happening on Facebook for dropshippers. So you can stay ahead of the curve in 2022 and beyond, and ahead of the competition that is not aware of these specific changes. Why some current dropshippers have noticed a drop in their sales from 2021 to 2022, and exactly what to do to fix this now. How to skip the learning curve and avoid the four deadly sins in this business most people fall victim to that end up costing them lots of money and lots of wasted time. So you can have complete certainty and peace of mind knowing you are in control and you are following a great path for success in this space. Why this is important to you now. Fact, things are changing. What worked for making money in 2021, dropshipping on Marketplace, does not work anymore. You need to know what's happening so you can stay ahead of the curve and continue to have a successful business. Most so-called outlines or guidelines teach outdated information that worked a year or so ago, but does not work today. If there's guides out there that are a year old or older and they haven't been updated, they will not work today. There are massive changes that, are, that have happened and that continue to happen that you will learn about here. And you, you, know, you need to make sure you're getting updated information. Or the other thing is some of these guys, they teach watered down BS that's not effective. Uh, they don't give the entire picture. So is this for you? If you've always wanted to start a dropshipping business but felt overwhelmed and not sure where to start, this is for you. 
If you've never drop shipped an item before on Facebook, but want cutting edge information on how to get sales fast, this is for you. If you want to know secrets the top dropshippers understand that will give you an advantage over the competition, this is for you. If you have had some success dropshipping, getting sales every now and then, but are not getting as many sales as you want, this is for you. If you like the idea of making money 100% from your computer, never having to sell, negotiate, deal with customers or clients, leave the house, etc., this is for you. And if you've tried money, make money from laptop or dropshipping businesses in the past that didn't work out, this is for you. If you want to do all this without needing to spend lots of time before you see results, doing trial and error and trying to figure it out, this is for you. I know this may sound crazy, but I'm going to back up everything I just said on this presentation with undeniable proof. You may think you have tried it all and seen it all, but you've never seen anything like this before. I promise what you will learn on this training, on this video, will blow your mind. So who this is not for? This is not for get rich quick people. So there's certain people out there that are looking for a way to make a gazillion dollars in a week or two. That's not how this works. This is for people that understand this is a business. You're going to have to put in some work. You're going to have to put in some time. And you're also going to have to be willing to apply what you learn. If you're not willing to apply what is taught in this presentation, because there is going to be work you're going to have to do, this is not for you. This is also not for people that are looking to make a gazillion dollars. Drop shipping on Facebook Marketplace, you can make decent money. Um, but you know, you're know you you're not going to get rich. So if you're looking to buy a Grant Cardone private jet, this is not for you. But if you're looking for a way to make decent, what I believe is pretty easy side money, um, you know, this is for you. Let's keep going. This presentation is only for those who want a long-lasting, evergreen, legal, ethical, and moral way to make consistent money dropshipping on Facebook Marketplace. I have a paid program. At the end, I will tell you about it. But first, I will cover in complete detail everything I just promised. Let's get to it. We will start with the basics. That way, the foundation is laid and then quickly get into the nuts and bolts and the advanced juicy tactics. Fair enough? So what is dropshipping? Dropshipping is where we take an item from any website, let's say Amazon.com. Then we list that item on Facebook Marketplace for more than what it cost us to buy it on Amazon, and we act like we're selling it. We say, hey, this is our item, we're selling it. When someone buys the item from us on Facebook Marketplace, we then go to Amazon, buy the item from Amazon, ship it to the customer, and make the difference. So let me explain. So this item right here is a Sermon Brands Money Clip Wallet. It's listed on Facebook Marketplace. It's $40 plus $5 shipping. And you get to keep the shipping. So every time you sell this wallet for $45, bucks, every time you sell this, you're selling it for basically $45. Bucks. You see it right here. It's on Amazon for $29.95. So if someone buys the item on Facebook Marketplace for $45, bucks, when you sell the item, you go to Amazon.com, you purchase the wallet for $29.95. Then when you go to ship the item, instead of shipping it to yourself, you change the shipping address to the address of the person who bought the item from you on Facebook Marketplace. And I'm going to go into this more detail here in a little bit. And so instead of shipping it to themselves, you're going to ship it directly to the customer. The customer gets exactly what they ordered, so they're happy. Facebook Marketplace charges a 5% fee. So Facebook's happy. They made a little bit of money. Now, yes, I understand sometimes Facebook has promotions and sometimes with Facebook shops, they waive the fees, you know, uh, you, you know, and they're doing promotions to try to get more people in the shop. So they'll waive it for months sometimes. But, you know, you understand. So basically, this person at the end of the day makes $12.80 every time this item is sold. There's big benefits to this. Once you list the item once on Marketplace, it can sell over and over again. That wallet in the above example can sell over and over again on your Facebook store, and you can go to Amazon and dropship it over and over again. You list it once, you get paid forever, or you get paid over and over. Perhaps not forever, but you can get paid over and over and over again. There are some requirements to dropship on Facebook Marketplace. You generally need a social security number and be, have to be a USA resident. This is not 100% the case. It's getting a little bit looser with shops. Um, and then there are ways around it if you're doing it just on like regular marketplace. But the, it, 
it is a little bit easier if you have a social security number. We'll just say it like that. You do need to have a Facebook account. It's best to have $400 to $800 you can use to buy products. So allow me to explain this. So you're gonna, we're just gonna use that wallet for the rest of this presentation as an example. You sell that wallet and Facebook says, congratulations, you just made 45 bucks. But we've, minus our fee. But before we deposit this money into your bank account, we're gonna hold on to the money for about two weeks, 10 to 14 days. So you need to have money, capital, that you can use to go to Amazon, you know, like that day or the next day, buy the wallet from Amazon and ship it to the customer. You can't wait like 14 days till the money gets deposited into your account and then use that to like go buy items. So you need to have some money up front that you can use to purchase products. Now the $400 to $800 could either be on a credit card, multiple credit cards, money in your bank account, or a combination of both. But you do need to have some money. Now if you don't have this much money, you could start off with less money, but you're just not going to be able to sell that many products, right? If you only have $100 total, you know, and you sell that wallet, you're going to be able to sell three of those wallets every two weeks, basically. So you're going to make like $40 every two weeks. It, I mean, you could definitely do that, but, you know, my recommendation is making sure you have a little bit of capital. That way you can kind of hit the ground running and start making sales and, you know, start that, you know, that way you can feel it. You start making some decent money and then you can just keep flipping it. You also need to have a computer and internet connection. So now that we got the basics out of the way, let's move to the more advanced training. The five-step process I use to make $500,000 a day drop shipping on Marketplace. And of course, that you can uh, use and start using today. So step number one, know what types of items will sell the best. List those items correctly on Facebook Marketplace. Purchase the item that gets sold and send it to the customer. Understanding seasons, understanding the enough principle. So let's break down each of these in, in more detail so you fully understand it and so you can fully implement each of these five steps in your business right now. One, know what types of items will sell the best. There are certain types of items that are better for dropshipping than others. Each item should meet the following rules. A, people generally don't know the price of it. B, fairly easy to ship and deliver. C, common items. D, items for the house and people are the best. So. For example, this is an iPhone 13 Pro Max. Now, a fair amount of people know what the price of this item is. So if I bought this item and then, or I, I didn't even buy it, but let's say I listed this item on Facebook Marketplace for $2,000. And I said, hey, I got a brand new iPhone 11 Pro Max. I'm gonna get a lot of messages of people saying, are you, what's wrong with you, dude? You can go to apple.com and buy the same phone for $1,400. Why would I pay you $2,000 for the same phone? People generally don't know the price. So, but let's look at this item right here. We want to list items that people generally don't know the price of. Look at this nightstand. Fewer people know what it costs. Let me ask you as you're watching this and looking at the screen, how much would this, how much do you think this would cost? 50 bucks, 75, 175, 255? It's better to list non-name brand items like this so you can mark the item up. Name brand items like Apple iPhones, Nike shoes, Gucci belts, things like that we want to avoid. We want to be listing kind of these off-brand items where people generally don't know the price of. The price is a little bit more using a fancy word, you know, uh, kind of subjective. B, fairly easy to ship and deliver. One time I drop shipped this item and it was this big bulky item and I got an email. And it said, hey, we're trying to deliver the item. And I looked at the email, and it was from a company that was trying to deliver this big bulky item I drop shipped. And basically, I had to call the company. And I speak to a guy, and the guy said, hey, we got your item. Your item's so big, I got to put it on the back of basically a small truck and have someone custom deliver it to you. I need to know, A, when you're going to be home, and B, if there's enough room on the front of your yard to deliver this. So then I had to like get in touch with the customer and I had to make sure that the customer was going to be home and what day and time they were going to be home. And then I had to call back and so I had to go through that whole process. I basically had to try to arrange this item to be, be shipped, right? And then it seemed like the guy that was delivering it was kind of nervous. Hey, you know, is it going to be on like a, the truck is, 
is a kind of a medium-sized truck? Are they going to be able to, you know, are they going to be able to fit on the road? Is there going to be enough space? Are there going to be any cars in the driveway? That was kind of like the sense of what I was getting. So we want to avoid that. And to avoid that, we want to be listing items that are fairly easy to ship and deliver. So for example, this nightstand is totally fine. Now, even though this nightstand is not going to fit like in a mailbox, this nightstand is going to fit in the box and the person that's delivering it is going to be able to drop it off on the front of, you know, on the person's porch or right in front of their door. I've shipped um, a few other items, just if you guys want some actual specific examples, um, like uh, office chairs, like this office chair I'm sitting on. I've sold office chairs before or bar stools. Like, even though those items are a little bit bigger, those are absolutely totally fine. Uh, you know, items like this, the, you know, uh, plates, uh, you know, bowl plate sets, this is fine. You know, something like this. Uh, you know, it, it, we, we just want it to be uh, easy to ship, uh, you know, fairly easy to ship and deliver. Uh, the second, th the, the C is common household items are very good. So look at this item right here on the left. What is this? This looks like the butt of a deer with a bottle opener in it and then over here we have some bowls and we have some plates which one of these sell the most which one of the, in a month period how many bowls and plates do you think sell a month and then how many butt deer bottle openers my guess is there might be i don't know maybe 50 deer butt bottle openers that sell in a month throughout the world and as far as bowls and plates go i don't know maybe a Shoot, I mean, maybe 10 million or 20 million or, or 100 million, right? So we want to be listing popular selling items. Some people get the wrong message and they're like, oh, I want to be listing these weird niche items. You don't want to be doing that. You want to be listing popular items because these popular items, if a lot of people are selling it and there's a lot of competition for this, that means that there's a lot of, there, there's a lot of sales in this. And all you have to do is get a small piece of the pie and you know you can get your small piece of the pie i rather have one percent of an item that sells a hundred million times a month than ten percent of an item that sells you know 50 times a month as an example i'm, I'm probably not going to get one percent of the sales but you know just as an example d items for the house and people are the best so like these industrial type of items or, you know, items that are kind of more business to business or uh, items that are kind of for contractors. Um, you know, uh, we, we generally don't want to be listing items like that. Like, uh, you know, an example might be gutter guards for the roof. Those are good to drop ship on places like Amazon. But as far as Facebook Marketplace, it's a different type of person that buys items on Facebook Marketplace. The, the, the type of person that buys items on Facebook Marketplace is like the mom. I uh, had a grandmother buy a, a present for like her daughter. Um, there's some dads on there, like I've sold some lawnmowers. But it's more of like items for the house and people are the best. Uh, two, list those items correctly on Facebook Marketplace. We don't want to just copy the title, image, and description from Amazon. We want to be smart about it. We want to use an image that grabs someone's attention. We want to have a title that clearly describes what, they are, what we are selling and has as many phrases people would search for that item as possible. This will allow you to get more views on your item. We also want to have the description written correctly to get those people who are interested to buy right now. So, A. Use an item that will grab someone's attention. Or use an image that will grab someone's attention. And the image needs to do three things. One, be fully lit and easy to see. Two, display the entire image. Three, display the item in its natural habitat being used. Let's talk about these. So, look at these. This is one lawnmower. Now, I know these are different types of lawnmowers, but bear with me here, all right? So, this is one lawnmower, and this is another. Now you see this is a dark image, it's hard to see the lawnmower, it's not very well lit. This is a very well lit image. So out of these two, we'd want to be using the image on the right. Display the entire image. Now I know this sounds a little bit simple, but like, you know, this image is cut off, this displays the entire thing. You want to make sure that you are displaying the entire thing. Show the item in its natural habitat. So. 
Have you ever seen like workout videos where they're promoting, um, or uh, I'm sorry, maybe you see advertisements on social media or YouTube and they're promoting like workout products or you see advertisements on TV and they're for like your abs or workout machines. You ever notice when they're showing those, those workout equipment like the home gyms, it's always like someone that's in shape using it, right? It's always like an attractive in shape girl or an, a fit, pretty buff in shape guy and they're using it. Why is it that they always show people using the product? Because advertisers have tested and it's a proven fact that if you can show someone using the item and like getting a good result from it, so like using the workout equipment and having big muscles or like running on a treadmill and you know losing weight, it has a, it's gonna get more people to buy because when you can see someone using it, it's easier to picture yourself and put yourself using it. So if you can show this item, like this image right here, out of all the items is perfect. It shows a woman pushing the lawnmower. You can see the entire lawnmower. It's well lit. And you can also see the lawn looks very great. You know, uh, the lawn looks fantastic. So these types of images are great. Now, I guess just as a side note, not all the time you'll be able to find images like this, but ideally, if you can, these are kind of like what we're looking for. Is that making sense so far? These small details really make a big difference. B, title describes what they are getting clearly without confusion. So example one is lawnmower. Example two is 100 pound automatic lawnmower for the yard. The other benefit is by having a keyword rich title if someone searches lawnmower, your item will show up. If someone searches 100 pound lawnmower or automatic lawnmower or lawnmower for the yard, when you have popular phrases in your title that are not just lawnmower but other popular phrases related to what a lawnmower is, that will help get your item to show up for those other results which will allow you to get more people the opportunity to view your item and then of course possibly buy your item. Very, very, very powerful. C, good descriptions. One, outline the terms of your item. This is like the condition, the shipping time, the return policy and more. Two, clearly explain what your item is and what they are getting. Uh, if you have any name brands, now we're not going to use Nike or anything like that, but if you have like, you know, um, you know, Amazon's name brand, if it says like Amazon Basics on it or something like that, you know, in the, in the picture, we want to like blur that out. And sometimes there's model numbers. We want to make sure that's not in the, um, uh, you know, that's not in the description either. I'm sorry. It's, you guys understand what I'm saying. We want to make sure like there's no brands or model numbers in the description so people just don't Google it and buy it. It is good to check the images too, right? And sometimes if there's like an image and it has like, you know, Amazon Basics or like, you know, if it's like, you know, maybe it's got that name, you know, if it's from Amazon, yeah, you know, you might want to use a different image or blur that out or something like that. And then finally, where you ship it to and other details of, uh, and other details people should know when they're buying from you. So the truth is many drop shippers get a lot of people to come to their listings and who are right on the edge of buying, but they don't know how to properly write their description to get those interested people to basically say, F it, I need this and buy. So the dropshipper loses an absolute ton of money and they don't even know it's their own fault and their poorly created listings, that's creating list. That's creating this. And then the next step is to buy the item from the dropshipping company. Now this might sound a little bit more straightforward, right? So basically whenever you sell the item on Facebook, Facebook's going to notify you and they're going to say, hey, congratulations, you got a sale. You just made 45 bucks. You sold this wallet. Please ship your item to this customer's address. And Facebook is going to tell you the customer's name and their address to send the item to. When you see that information, you'll go to your dropshipping company, whether that's you know whoever you're using. And when you're checking out, so in this example, we go to Amazon, we get the wallet, we check it out, we add it to our cart, and all we're gonna do here is go to the shipping address, we're gonna hit add new address, and we're gonna take the address, the name and the address of the customer that bought the item from us on Facebook Marketplace, enter it in here, hit change, 
then select that customer's address that we added, and then ship the wallet directly to them. Recap of the first three steps. Only list good items that have a high chance of selling. Don't list random items and hope they will sell follow a system. List those items correctly on Facebook Marketplace with good images, good titles, and good descriptions. If you're using, there's people out there teaching the, this thing called Z-Drop, where it just copy and paste the titles, the images, and descriptions, can't be using that. When you make a sale, go to your drop shipping company and ship the item directly to the customer's address. Now, as promised, if you look, I have a downloadable list of 17 products. I have 17 products list. These are hot selling items that I personally hand selected. They're vetted and verified products that are hot selling products that you can list in your store. If you look in the description, you can grab that list. As a super bonus that I didn't mention before, but I'm mentioning it now just because I want to provide extra value, in the description, I will also put a link to 24 different dropshipping companies you can use. Both of these are downloadable documents, by the way. That means you don't have to like click a link, enter your email address, wait five minutes for it to show up. It's none of that. These are direct documents for both of these. Both of these, uh, both of these direct documents are in the description of this video. Next up is understanding what are good items to list over the next few months. So here's the issue. Some people come to me and they say, Mr. Aaron, I was getting sales, but the last four, five, six months, my sales slowed down. And I ask what types of items they have listed. And they say, rollerblades, pools, pool toys, grills, etc." You see what the problem with this is? Well, at the time I'm making this video, it's in the beginning of 2020, or sorry, 2022. And in the beginning of 2022, it's the winter time, right? It's colder out. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I had to grab some water. It's colder out, and people generally aren't buying water tubes, rollerblading outside, and grills. So, what are people generally doing around the winter time? Generally playing outside, sledding. Christmas before it was Thanksgiving. There's snow, so they're buying, you know, these automatic snow blower things. So these are good items to list for like the, you know, for, for the fall and winter time. What we need to do is be aware of what season it is, what holidays or celebrations, could be St. Patrick's Day, could be Valentine's Day, might be coming up in the next two to three months. And then list items for those upcoming current seasons. Holidays can help increase your sales a lot. This is like staying relevant. Um, you know, a few months ago, I was, uh, you know, uh, one of my students was telling me he was, um, I was basically teaching this concept, and he was basically saying um, it was like a few weeks before Halloween, and he was saying, yeah, I'm selling all sorts of Halloween items. So just something to be aware of to help you increase your sales as well, and give you some more ideas on great items to kind of go after. Even when you understand what type of items people want to buy and you list those correct items and you list those items correctly and you list good seasonal items, there are still some items you list that simply will not sell. That's just how it goes. In fact, it's not too uncommon for 60 to 80% of the items you list not to sell. That's the business. So it's important to list enough items in your store. How many? I recommend starting off at five a day. Um, you could definitely do more than that, especially if your account kind of gets warmed up. But at least five a day is a great start. So if you think you're just going to list 20 to 30 items in your store and that's it, that will not cut it. To really have your business take off, we want to be consistently listing new items in our store. However, when you follow the outline we just covered, you are well on your way to having a successful Facebook Marketplace dropshipping business. Benefits of dropshipping. It's pretty much free to get started. You don't have to buy or rent a store. You don't need a warehouse to hold a lot of inventory. You never purchase the item till you've already gotten paid for it. Right now, I know it hasn't gotten deposited into your bank account yet, but you never have to purchase the item till the customer's already bought it from you and the money is, you know, pending in, in the process of being, you know, it'll be deposited in your bank account in a couple weeks. It's not until someone gives you money and buys your item on Marketplace, only then do you go to your dropshipping company, buy the item, and ship it to the customer. 
low risk. It's very hard to lose money. It's not like we're buying a bunch of inventory up front from, you know, China and, you know, you know, hoping that we're going to be able to sell it, you know, on our Amazon store or our Shopify store or anything like that. It's scalable. How many items are there on Amazon that you could list? <laughs> Quite a few. It's also high reward. No selling, no negotiating. As long as you live in the U, as you know, generally, as long as you live, have a social security number, have internet connection and computer, you can do this. One of my favorite quotes is: "It's said that 90% of what we worry about never happens. It would make sense then to focus on the 10% possibility of something amazing happen." The big picture: This business can give you freedom. Work it when you want to, where you want to. And you probably don't need me to tell you this, but if you look at uh, Retail e-commerce sales, so basically the uh, uh, you know amount of sales uh, of people buying stuff online. I mean, it's been increasing for decades. It's going to continue to increase. This is not like a new thing. Um, as you probably know, more and more people are buying stuff online. And over the next 5, 10, 15 years, there'll be more and more and more people buying stuff online. Amazon Prime has 126 million members in the United States. There are 190 million people that have Facebook that live in the United States. Now, of course, not all those people use Facebook Marketplace, not all of them use the shipping option, but enough do. And also Facebook guys, they have a lot of money and they are trying to compete with places like eBay and Amazon with Facebook Marketplace. They're dumping a lot of money into their Facebook Marketplace platform. So there is definitely a lot of opportunity to get into the space and capitalize it and also get into it from the beginning. I've had people tell me they're like, guys, so the shipping option on Facebook Marketplace turned on about two years ago. And it was just in the last like nine months that it really opened up to a lot of people. I've had people say, oh, you can't make money on Facebook Marketplace anymore. Guys, people, it's 2022. You still hear success stories of people selling on Amazon every now and then. Now, it's a lot harder because there's a lot more competition. But the way I look at it is Amazon let people let, let it, started letting regular people sell on their platform in 2000. So imagine it was a couple years later in 2002 and you started selling on Amazon. You still got it in the beginning, all right? We're still in the beginning stages of this. Now, as promised, the four deadly sins you must avoid at all costs when dropshipping on Marketplace. One, listing items from bad dropshipping companies. There are certain websites people say are good, drop are good to dropship from, but in reality, they're horrible. They will cancel your orders, ban your account. They don't really like dropshippers. Two, list the correct number of items daily. You need to list new items daily to grow your business. If you list... Now... In the beginning, guys, you don't want to list too many items because that could throw up some red flags. I've seen it happen before. But just kind of keep in mind, if you want to be super conservative, just start off listing five items a day is fine, and then slowly you could increase that if you want to. Um, I don't personally increase it too, too much, but you could, you could definitely increase it. Not listing the items correctly in your store. I have an entire method formula I use to create the perfect title for every listing I upload. I have a process for choosing which photo I put as the main photo on my listing, which photo I put as the second photo, and so on. Then for the description, I use my description listing template. Do not underestimate this. You must list your items correctly in your store. It's easy to do once you have the formula, but understand uploading items, even if they are good items, is not enough. This is probably the biggest issue I see when I look at struggling dropshippers. Four, putting this off. Uh, like I just talked about, shipping on Facebook Marketplace has been around for a couple years. This space is still new. They also had a lot of glitches before. They don't have that many glitches now. I mean, if you are looking for a good time to get into this, good ser get serious about this, and get started now and establish yourself as a reputable, trustworthy seller, this is the time to get started. So let's talk about what the big changes from 2021 to 2022. So... When I used to live in uh, St. Louis, Missouri, and I lived there my whole life, uh, pretty much my whole life, till about a year and a half ago. And what happened was, I moved to, um, I moved to uh, California. But so anyway, 
in St. Louis, there was this park that I used to go to. And it was kind of out in the middle of nowhere. It was, um, it wasn't, it was kind of out in the middle of nowhere. And at this park, there was this gas station. And the gas station, it was pretty run down. Like, you go to the gas station, they only had a few pumps. And the, uh, the, the gas station itself, the outside was kind of dirty. You'd see cigarette buds on the floor. Some of the lights, the outside lights wouldn't work. They'd flicker on and off. Then if you wanted to go inside to the gas station, you'd go inside. And it was a small gas station. They just had, like, you know, chips and some soda. Half the shelves were, like, stocked. There was, you know, the floor was old and ugly. They had generally just one person that was working the, uh, that, that was a cashier. So it wasn't too uncommon for you to go wait in line for five minutes to get checked out. Now, my question, guys, is why is it that this run-down old kind of hoop de doop gas station still had so much business? Why was there almost always a line when I went there? And the reason is, is there weren't any other gas stations in the area. So because there was pretty much no competition, the value that the gas station had to provide was pretty low. Well, imagine for a second that one of these big, massive chain gas stations came in. And they moved in right up the block from this worn down gas station. And if you guys have been to some of these new gas stations, you know, you understand that. They're very well lit. They clean the outside. They got a ton of pumps. The gas pumps quickly into the car, right? It doesn't drip, it just pumps. And if you go inside, all the shelves are well stocked. A lot of these places now, they have pre-made sandwiches and salads and coffees. And they have multiple people that are working, so you don't have to wait in line. They're very professional. They move you along quickly. So if one of those gas stations came and moved a block away from this gas station here, what would happen? this gas station would start to lose business. They would start to lose business. And they might be thinking, what happens? We've been in business for 10 years, but all of a sudden, we're, 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 we've lost 75% of our customers. Well, what happened was a better company came out that offered better products and a better service and a better overall, they were a better company. Their, their skill sets were higher. And because of that, everyone decided to go to the newer gas station. So that is what is happening. That's the big change that happened from 2021 to 2022. There's a lot of people that were in, uh, you know, in the last year or two that were just, they were operating on what I call 70%. So they were listing good items, but, you know, maybe they were using Z-Drop and they were just copying and pasting the titles or maybe they were kind of optimizing their listings in a way that were okay. And out of all the stuff we talked about, they were doing maybe 70% of it. Well, before, when there wasn't a lot of competition, you could get away with that. As more and more people get into it now, you have to raise yourself to be ahead of the competition. You have to be operating at like 90, 95%. And the reason is, so let me explain this. And this is really, really important. This is probably the, maybe one of the most advanced things that you'll learn in this. So imagine that there's two people. Okay, so there's, there's two people. There is there's this person right here. So if you look right here, there's this person right here. And there's this person right here. So we're going to say that this person is me, right? So you have me. And I, when I create my, uh, when I list a product, I'm listing a great product. And I list it perfectly. I'm listing a title that has a ton of keywords in there that are related to the item. This person right here, just copy and paste the title from the dropshipping company. So imagine that we both list the exact same item at the exact same price. Well, out of a hundred different searches that are related to the item, my listing shows up five times and this person's listing, because their title isn't optimized, shows up two times. So instantly, I'm getting more than twice as many. I'm, I'm showing up more than twice as, uh, twice as many as this person. Now imagine that I have a great first image on my listing that grabs people's attention and makes them want to click my listing. So out of 100 people, so we're going to go down now. Out of 100 people that view my item, 
that see it show up in the search results on Facebook Marketplace, out of 100 people that view it, 10 people click on it. Compared to the competition where they have a crappy photo, and out of 100 people that view their, their item, only two people click it. Now, out of the two people that click the competitor's item, let's say 1% of those people buy the item because they don't have good images, their description is not worded, they don't do things to get the customer excited um, about buying the item. So only 1% of people that actually click this customer's item buys the item. Now imagine my listing, right? I got the perfect first image. And then I got the perfect second image. I have actually an entire structure of which image to use first, which image to use second, which image to use third, because it matters. Because what happens, guys, is if someone clicks your listing, when someone clicks your listing and they view your listing, they're interested enough to click your listing, but they're not interested enough to buy, and the chance of them exiting from your listing is very high. And a lot of times what people do is when they click a listing, the first thing they do is they look at the different photos. They go through different photos. So I, first of all, one of the tips is you want to, as many photos as you can put, you want to have as many of those different photos as you can, right? If it gets you the ability to have 10 photos, don't put three or four or five photos. Put 10 photos. You also have to put the right photos in the right order, right? But they click my listing and they like the first image. And then they click the next image. And the next image they click, image number two, gets them even more excited. They're like, oh, this product looks a little bit better than what I thought it was before. And now they're a little bit more invested. And they go to the third image and the fourth image. And they go through all the images. And although it only took them 30 seconds to go through all the images, they're a lot more invested than this person right here. They're a lot more invested than this person right here because they went through all the images. Now that they're more invested in their my listing, and their buying temperature has gone up, they look at my description. And in my description, I have all the words and everything that's needed written correctly, spaced out correctly, in the correct order to get those people that they're, they're about ready to buy, but they need a little bit more reassurance or they have some objections or concerns in their head. They read my description. And in my description, I answer those objections. And then those people say, oh, you know what? I pushed them over the edge with my listing. You know what? When I just saw the listing on Facebook Marketplace, I was curious. Then it got my attention. Then it got me very interested and I'm ready to buy me buy. So when people click your listing, guys, you have to understand, they go through this process, right? It's not just like a thing. You have to understand the psychology of this. So think about it. If there's me and then there's the competitor, and we're, we'd list the same item at the same price on the same day. But my item shows up for more searches than the competitor. A higher percentage of people click my item than they click on the competitor. And a higher percentage of people that once they click my item, they buy my item compared to the competitor. If you are Facebook and you want people to buy items because A, you're either making a 5% fee or you're going to get a 5% fee. Whose listing are you going to start to push to the top of the results and show to more and more people? And whose listing are you eventually going to start showing to less people or eventually show to no one? Right? You're going to push mine to the top. And that's why if you do it correctly, you can even list your item for more than the competition. And sell more of it than the competition if your item is optimized and listed correctly. Very, very, very powerful, guys. Please do not underestimate that point. So, um, and this is what we were just talking about, right? So six to eight months ago, you could be operating at 70%, be listing decent items, maybe using ZDrop to copy and paste the titles. ZDrop is just a tool, by the way, that'll copy and paste basically items from a dropshipping company to, uh, to, to, to like Facebook. Um, and you'd be getting sales. But that won't cut it anymore. You need to be operating at 90, 95% to compete with other sellers that came into the space and to stay ahead of the competition. So why am I revealing this to you now? I struggled for so long before I found something that actually worked for making money. I remember being at the drive-thru at McDonald's and having to order a McChicken because I didn't have enough money for a regular chicken sandwich. At the age of 21, I remember coming home from my job as a server at a restaurant and crashing exhausted and I'm like 
Is this really my life? I'm spending my entire life working a job just to get by. Is this what an adult is like? I remember being at Walmart self-checkout. This was about five years ago. I had about $46 worth of items, essential items, some food and toilet paper, and my card got declined. I couldn't use any other card because all my credit cards had maxed out. I, had, uh, I was using my debit card. I had to walk up to the person at the front and ask her to remove some items. And at about $24, my card went through. I remember having to eat ramen noodles for four days straight because I only had $20 in my bank account and I needed that for gas to get to and from work till my next paycheck hit. I remember the feeling of pain and disappointment, trying business after business, having zero luck. I remember feeling like my entire life was passing me by. I was behind on my bills, my goals, and really just behind in life. But then, because I kept paying attention, I didn't give up, and I started to make money, I started to crack the code to success. My life started to turn around. My bank account started to get larger and larger. I went from eating at McDonald's to Applebee's and TGIF. Guys, I felt like I was a big shot. I mean, I'd walk into Apple, I'd walk into TGIF, I'd get their ribs, I'd get a side salad, I'd get dessert, I'd spend, I don't know, $30. And I just felt euphoric. I was like, this is great, I've made it. I was able to get a nicer car, I moved into a nicer place. Uh, there were times I would take my sisters to the mall, hand them like $800 and be like, we're not leaving here till you spend all this money. And they would come back a couple hours later with bags loaded up with all sorts of goodies. I just love spoiling them. The best feeling of all though was quitting my job. Having more control over my life, more time and more money to do the things that you want to do. My life's mission. As my life started to turn around and I sit before you today as a college dropout, being able to make consistent sales for my computer and marketplace, never having to sell or negotiate with anyone, the feeling of freedom, control, and peace of mind is unbelievable. And I cannot begin to put those feelings into words. My life's mission now is to help as many people as possible experience freedom and happiness from having an online business that spits out cash daily. This is what I do what I do. So, and this is why... I have went to work secretly behind closed doors. I started mapping out an entire start to finish marketplace dropshipping blueprint anyone can take and run with. I took all the systems, formulas, scripts, blueprints, everything I used. I stripped out all the BS and all the fluff. Only kept proven to work actionable steps you can start taking now to get fast, reliable, consistent results. And that's why I created the Facebook Marketplace Dropshipping Program. So, here, well, the first warning is this is, of course, only for serious people. I'm going to tell you what comes in the program now, but understand that it is going to require effort. I'm asking anyone, again, that if you're looking for like a get-rich-quick thing, if you're not looking to do any work, if you're not willing to put in the effort, this is not for you and you should not keep watching. So, what comes in the FB Marketplace Dropshipping Program? The three best companies I personally use to dropship. These companies have the best products, amazing customer service, great order and return policies. So you don't have to spend over six months like I did testing and trying out different dropshippers and dealing with the ones that are a big waste of time. Five different ways to find top selling popular items that are perfect to list on Facebook Marketplace. So you can predictably and consistently list great selling items in your store. The perfect title template. Learn how to create the perfect title every time for every item you list in your store. This will help you get more views on your items and get your items pushed to the tops of Facebook Marketplace. It's almost like you're hacking their algorithm. More views on your listings, better chance of selling more items. Where to find the best images to use as the main image for your listings. Hint, these images never come from the images that the dropshipping company uploads to their items. So you know if you find an item on Amazon.com, for example, an item will have a few images that show off the product, the first main image to use for your listings should never come from there. And you shouldn't be using these as your main image. The description listing template. 
Use this for every item you list on your Marketplace account so you answer all the concerns and questions someone might have about your item from the beginning. So you can sell more item and boost your sales. This is gonna be fun. The single most important thing needed if you wanna make multiple sales a day in your store. Hint, it's not what you think. Success is yours for the taking. My items listed sheet. Get my custom created items listed sheet where you can easily keep track and find every single item you list in your store. So you never feel overwhelmed and have peace of mind knowing you are in control. My OOS script and formula. So what happens if you sell an item at 8 a.m. and you go to buy the item at 2, 8, 2 p.m. and the item is out of stock? The dropshipping company has no more left. They sold out. What do you do in this situation? You will get my exact script to send to the customer and my exact process for smoothly handling situations like this. This way you don't have upset customers and you can continue moving right along. How about when the customer gets an item and it comes in an Amazon box and they want to know why it came in an Amazon box? I have a beautifully crafted, crafted script that works every single time to not only calm any customers down that might be upset by this, but actually make them excited to buy from you again in the future. One of my students says, this made my day, a happy customer. I was worried because her order had tracking issues, but the script works. Thanks, Aaron. In fact, you will get access to 24 scripts I have for pretty much every single customer service scenario you could run into. I have personally written and tweaked each script over and over, and now you can get access to all of them so you never have to worry about any customer service situation that can come up, and you will know exactly what to say in pretty much every situation. I have been working on these scripts and tweaking them for over two and a half years, and have used them in other places as well. These are very powerful and will make your life super easy. Every part of this business I have covered, and you will learn how to handle every situation smoothly and confidently. Because you are continuously listing popular products in your store, continuing to sell items and smoothly handle any questions customers send you, this business just gets too easy. How to get Marketplace or the shipping option to appear. Now it's not as common as it used to be, but if you have a newer Facebook account or sometimes even an older one, there is a chance you might not have Marketplace or the shipping option available yet. You will learn exactly what to do to get these two options turned on so you can start listing items for sale on your account in as little as nine minutes. 50 top selling items cheat sheet. Get instant access to many of the best items that sell like crazy on Facebook Marketplace. I took 50 of the best selling items and put them on this cheat sheet for you. So all you have to do is grab these from the three dropshipping companies you get access to and list these items in your store. Don't waste eight plus months like I did testing and trying to find which items sell the best on Marketplace and which items don't. Steal these top selling items so you can focus on getting sales, not learning lessons. This cheat sheet alone will change your business forever. The 31 page product uploading checklist. Remember, the biggest issue I see with dropshippers on Marketplace is they don't list their items correctly. Get access to my detailed 31 page product uploading checklist so while you are uploading your items on Facebook, run it through this checklist to make sure you're listing it perfectly. This will help you get more views on your listings, boost your listings to the top of Facebook marketplace, and help you get a higher percentage of people that click your item to buy it. 31 pages might seem like a lot, but once you start listing your items, you will get the hang of it very quickly. And now for the first time, you will have peace of mind knowing you are listing your items correctly the right way on Facebook Marketplace. Hint, this will also give you a major advantage over the competition. It's time to get this money. P&O monitoring. This is so simple, yet so many people mess this up and run into so many issues with their store. The FB Marketplace dropshipping program comes with everything you need to be successfully dropshipping on Facebook Marketplace. Multiple deadly Marketplace dropshipping pitfalls. You will see others doing these and you may think they are a good idea. Please avoid each of these at all costs or you will struggle for a long time in your business. Plus, you will learn eight more tactics, tricks, and hacks so powerful, 
I can't even talk about them here. So I want you to picture you're standing at the entrance of a five mile wide maze. You are at the entrance and you have to get from one side all the way to the middle. What are the chances that you're gonna be able to get to the middle? Probably not too good, right? And even if you were gonna eventually get to the middle, there's gonna be a lot of stress, it's gonna take a long time, it's gonna be very discouraging because if you take one wrong turn, you'd hit a dead end and there might be thousands of dead ends. Now imagine that I'm standing next to you at the entrance with the map in my hand and a red line going from where we are currently standing all the way to the center of the maze. And together, step by step, we as a team walk through the maze. What are our chances of reaching the middle? It's probably pretty good, right? And it probably wouldn't take us a lot of time or even be that stressful because we have a map a step-by-step -step turnkey directions you can follow to get you to your destination, to guide you where you wanna go. And that's exactly what the FB Marketplace dropshipping program is. Everything you need to be successful dropshipping on Facebook Marketplace condensed into bite-sized, easy-to-follow steps. So all you have to do is copy the system. If you're interested in joining, you uh, interested in joining, you learn more, head over to fbmarketplacedropshipping.com. The FB Marketplace dropshipping program will work for you even if you didn't go to college, you aren't good with technology, and you don't have a lot of money. You have a full-time job, you have a life and other responsibilities, you've tried one or even multiple things in the past to make money and those things failed. You know, usually it's not your fault because those programs don't teach the full information or they're kind of watered down. This will even work for you if you have a low uh, IQ or learning disability, or if you have ADD or ADHD like me. I actually have both of these. And in uh, elementary school, I was put in a learning disability class. You are uh, in a business or own a business now or are just now making the amount of money you want. You've gone to seminars, bought books or courses in the past, but promised the world, but ended up being big piles of crap. And even if you think you've tried everything, remember that was then, this is now. So I'm gonna ask you one more time. This program is designed for men and women so they can skip the learning curve, follow a complete turnkey formula for making money drop shipping on Facebook Marketplace. This system has worked for many others and it can work for you too as long as you follow the training that awaits you inside and allow the program to do its job. So what comes in the FB Marketplace drop shipping program? It's an outline training university broken down into bite-sized sections. Each section has a quick start video, followed by videos and templates. There are over 13 chapters with a total of 81 easy to follow videos that explain every step of this business in great detail and the exact actions to take. All you have to do is three things. Watch the easy to follow short training videos, do what the videos show you to do, allow the program to do its job. A full breakdown of how much each item would cost separately outside of the FB Marketplace dropshipping program. 81 easy to follow videos, 997. Three best dropshipping companies, 147. Five ways to find top selling items continuously, 247. Items listed sheet, 47. 50 top selling items listed cheat sheet, 297. Perfect title template, 97. Description listing template, 97. 24 customer service scripts, 247. 31 page product checklist is 147. The total value is $2,323. As you see, when you head over to www.fbmarketplacedropshipping.com, the price of this program is at a steep discount. I don't know how long it'll last. So if and when I raise the price, that's it. Please don't contact me and ask me to get the program at a discount. As the old saying goes, if you snooze, you lose. So, as you'll see when you uh, go to fbmarketplacedropshipping.com, you won't be paying anywhere near $2,323. So you can see the link in the for the program in the description. So if you look in the description of this video, you can also find the link to this program. And I've even included an extra downloadable bonus in the description as well, as I want to provide as much value as I can for you. So that's it. Hopefully you got value from this presentation. My name's Aaron Goldstein and that concludes this training.